Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in one of my recent videos, I posted about my experience as an analytics consultant. And in the comment section, I actually got a question about how do I price my projects? And this is a really good question. And I want to dig into kind of, I'm four years out now since I started and kind of walk you through the evolution of how I price my time and my projects. Let's start from the beginning. So I started my consulting agency, or I should say journey, because I didn't start as an agency. In fact, I kind of came about this through the completely wrong frame. I saw an analytics consultant as essentially an employee for hire. And I now think about things completely different. Because if you're thinking about yourself as just an employee for hire, you're missing out on things like you don't have stability, you don't have benefits, so you need to charge more for your time. My first consulting client, I actually charged about what I would make if I were working full time as an analyst. And this was a huge mistake. My first consulting project, I charged $30 an hour. And this was a pretty big mistake because the work was off and on and there was no healthcare, nothing. I was grossly undercharging for my time. Fast forward to, I would say about maybe nine months later, I upped my rate to around $100. And that was a really uncomfortable conversation. I felt like such an imposture sitting down with a business owner and saying, yep, I charge $100 an hour, you should hire me, blah, 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 blah. It just felt really uncomfortable because I didn't feel like I was worth that. But then, I would say another six to nine months later, I even upped that further to 175 an hour. And this time I was sitting down with the CFO of a relatively large company within my area. And the imposture syndrome just persisted. And what was cool about this project is that we had some huge wins. So after that project was wrapped up, I asked that CFO, how much value do you think this project brought your company? He said that based on the insights that he got from my analysis, he was able to completely reconfigure his pricing structure for his organization. And this insight was worth $100,000 to $200,000 per year. I kind of had an aha moment there of, wow, they're making upwards of $200,000 a year off of this insight that I provided them. All of a sudden, charging 175 an hour doesn't really seem like that big of a deal. So a lot of that is changing how you frame up how you see yourself. So instead of seeing yourself as an employee for hire, you kind of need to think of yourself as your own agency or your own entity, and you're going to be interfacing with other organizations and bringing value to them. And it's really hard to see that until you have some pretty big wins rolling in. I've gone through one more iteration in how I charge for my time now. So I really wanted to get out of the race of tying my time to a dollar amount because you can't really build wealth that way. Like you want scalable assets or income sources. So I've made one more shift, at least on the consulting side, where I charge a flat $2,500 a month just for me to work on your project. And th these projects can they can go into, I've, I think the longest project I've had at that rate was probably about 10 months. So that was $25,000 off of just one client. That pretty much wraps up the evolution of how I charge for my time as an analytics consultant and now as an analytics agency owner. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on if you've had some of the similar experiences that I have or if you think I'm wrong and maybe you know, there's an even better way for me to think about this. I'm all ears, but I just am grateful that I can share my experience with you and you might be able to get some value out of it. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell if you want more content as we post content each and every week. I'll see you guys in the next video.